Okay guys, so here's another step. I'm adding some more information. Here's my reference image. Again, I Google image poverty in America. So I need to make a bench, but I can't really see the structure of the bench. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to Google um, park bench and just see if I come up with something where I could see more details at the side. So this one right here, yeah, this one, this one is at the perspective that I want to work on because I want to put the park bench at the side. So you have to kind of like look for something that works for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I just to let you know, I'm looking at this, but I'm going to make a box first for it to fit in. Okay. So I want to make this bench, and I'm guessing the bench is kind of at the same height um, as the shopping cart. So you see, I could still kind of use that one line that I drew earlier with the shopping cart, because you can use converging lines multiple times to make things less confusing. So to help you guys out, remember, always sharpen your pencil. I'm going to darken that a little. And this is my kind of like guiding line for the top of the bench. And then I'm going to add another line right underneath because the bench has you know stripes like or it, it's like thick so it's gonna have two lines all right and then i'm gonna do a line i'm just thinking out loud for like the middle part of the bench and then i'm gonna do two stripes for the edge of the bench Okay, and again, all of these are kind of like guiding lines. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of cut off the edges. So I have to decide, is the bench going to be behind the shopping cart? I'm going to make it a little separate so it's, you know, more clear where the bench begins and ends. Now, I don't want to add too many details because I want to draw my, draw my um, man on there to show the truth about what's going on in America. But I'm gonna to start to cut out a lot of the details that's in that bench. Now the thing that's tricky about perspective is, is it's kind of like a problem and you have to solve it. You don't have to think out loud. So I think that this would go to the opposite vanishing point. Like the other, the arm that's coming out on the bench would go to the different vanishing point. So kind of like asking yourself, wow, is everything at the right angle? So I'm gonna go out and I am going to draw a line. And this is my guiding line. This line goes to that vanishing point for that little bar that goes out. Okay, and then I'll zoom in. Okay, and I am going to try my best to carve this into a bar. And it's gonna start to get messy because I feel like I'm going too dark. But the reason I'm going dark is because I want you guys to be able to see it. Okay, I have another loop. Like the bottom of the bench would go to the left vanishing point. So figuring it out, figuring it out. Bottom of the bench. Left vanishing point, figuring it out. Right, so that bottom goes to this vanishing point. <laughs> and there we go, I'm just like carving. Carving, drawing is sort of like sculpting. Okay, now this edge has to have a parallel side. So I need a bar on that side. And I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna make my little stripe. So here's kind of like the outline for my bench, but I'm not gonna draw a lot of details because guess what? My person is kind of gonna be sitting there. And I'm realizing that this kind of area comes out. So that line's not really there. And this is the bottom of my bench. This line isn't really there. It was just a guiding line. Okay, you guys see it? Is it looking like a bench yet? 
Okay, so again, you're seeing how I can take a box and I can carve things out.